Mid Journey added three new things. Let's start with the main attraction, a new editor mode. This kind of just combines other features into one new setup, but it looks pretty different, so let me walk through it with you. And this is all on the main Mid Journey website, by the way, midjourney.com. Once you've generated a picture that you like, you can hover over creative actions in the bottom right and you can find the new editor under more options. And you should know that all of this is subject to change. This is just how it's set up now, but maybe with some feedback, they might move some things around. And of course, I'll keep you updated. Now, you'll see a bunch of options up here at the top, but don't let that overwhelm you. Basically, editor combines panning, zooming, and in-painting all in one. So the first thing you might want to do is change the aspect ratio of the canvas. We can click and drag on those white bars on each side of the frame. If we were to hit enter, Midjourney would fill in this area and that's your basic panning feature. We can also try extending the canvas upwards. You can even expand the canvas in any direction and place your original picture wherever you want in the frame. And to do that, we'll click in the middle of the picture and we can place it wherever we want. Let's generate up there, and then let's generate one down here. Before we move on, let's take a look at some of the results. Here's what it looked like when we just pan down. We get these generations. Okay, I like that one a lot. That's pretty cool. Here's what it looked like when we panned up and to the side. Oh, that's so awesome. I might have to make that the thumbnail. Okay, I like that one too. Mm, that's not bad. I think that's when we had it in the top left. Oh, that's so pretty. And that's amazing. That's also amazing. If you want to know how to get this exact art style, I use this SREF code right here. It's a bit of a long number, 32469 If you like this style as much as I do, you can follow me over on Twitter and Instagram. I shared this style recently. So here's what it looked like when we placed our image in the top left. We get these four generations, but then here's what happened when we placed our picture in the bottom right. We get something like these, like that's so cool. I like that. That's amazing. Oh, I just added a camp. Mid journey, you're the best. Now, if you're playing around with these generations and you want to get back to your original, you can do it really quickly just by going up here to edit, scrolling over to the original, clicking on it, and that will bring you back. Then from there, we can go back down into editor and continue. Now, why don't we do this? Let's click this little refresh button up here and that will center everything. It'll bring it all back to the original. And I showed you zooming out, but now check this out. You can actually zoom in. This is kind of cool, but there is a catch. To zoom in, we're gonna click on one of the sidebars again, but instead of pulling outwards, we're going to pull inwards, something like that. Now, when we hit enter, Midjourney is gonna rerun this picture through its subtle upscale. So it's going to look very, very, very similar, but it'll be at a bit of a higher resolution. It's not exactly zooming in. It's taking advantage of some of Midjourney's built-in features. But considering we didn't have this before, I think this is a pretty good workflow. Now, here's the catch. You see how we zoomed in from the right inwards? If we try to grab from the bottom and crop it even more, when we hit submit, it's going to say editor doesn't support full cropping. That's because you can only zoom in left, right, or up and down. Let me go through that again, it's a little confusing. So we'll click reset. Now if we grab the bottom and we scrolled up, we can hit submit and it will run this through the upscale. But we can't also grab it from the right or left. This is not gonna work. You either have to choose the right and left to bring it in or the up and down. I don't know why that's the case. I can't imagine it's gonna be that way in the future. But for now, you have to recognize that that's not gonna work, you can't grab the frame from every direction. You gotta choose the up and down or the left or right. Sorry for emphasizing that so much, but that could get a little confusing. And that's what the zoom in will look like. Or that. I think that's a pretty cool cropping feature, especially for someone who doesn't have any other software tools that could help them with this. All right, again, we're gonna go back to our original by scrolling over edit and then finding the original. Now let's get to in painting. Again, you're gonna go into editor. And let's focus on the top left here. We have Erase and Restore. We'll start with Erase and you can actually change the size of the brush. That's done over here. Right now it's at 100, that's the default. And it's gonna look something like that. Well, that's okay, I guess. You can hit Control Z or Command Z on your keyboard to get rid of this, or this little undo button at the top. And if we increase the brush all the way to 250, it can get pretty large. And one thing you should know about in painting is that the larger the area, the better. Don't get too specific. Mid Journey's going to know what you're looking for. Select more than you think you would need to. So let's select her glasses, all of her face. And then over here on the right side, we can actually edit the prompt. You can click and change anything right here. So we'll go portrait of an Instagram model. And I'll say wearing 
purple glasses. She had blue ones on, now we're gonna change it to purple. When we hit submit, let's see what happens. Okay, these look kinda cool and they generate pretty fast. There's number one, two, three, and four. Which one do you like the best? I think I'm a fan of number three here. Now, if you tried this and you didn't select the right area or it didn't quite work, but you don't wanna have to select everything again, you can go up to the restore button, which is right beside eraser. And this will allow you to just repaint some of the original image. Maybe you can get even a little more specific, like let's just do one half of her sunglasses. It still says purple sunglasses in our prompt. And you see how I didn't select it perfectly. There's a little bit on her forehead that does not really matter. So let's hit submit again and see what that creates. Hmm, that didn't quite work. So let's try going back in and we'll go model wearing purple and blue glasses. We want to write our prompt as if the image had already been created. Now I think this might work. No, okay, let's try. So we could try half purple and half blue glasses. This is just a little bit of live troubleshooting. And look at that, it kind of worked, not in number one or two, but here in number four, I think that's amazing. Maybe it's a little pink more than purple, but still, I think you get the idea. Maybe that'll be the thumbnail. I don't know. Now, everything I showed you so far was pretty manual, but you can use the scale button right here to do things a lot quicker. Maybe you only want the image at 36% size. You can do that there and then click on the middle and drag it wherever you want. Alternatively, you can see a set of aspect ratios in the top right for a quick selection. So right now it's in 16 by nine, but we can just click two by three and it will change the frame for us that way. That's gonna go a lot quicker, especially if you need some specific ratio. We'll hit submit. But again, you can click the middle of the image and place that wherever you want inside of the new frame. So let's go near the top. And I noticed that our prompt still has the purple half of the sunglasses. So you know what, let's just click reset prompt and that will change it back to what we had originally. And we could end up with something like these. I thought that one's kind of cool. Okay, I said there were three things that got updated. Let's move to the second. Over here on the left side of the Mid Journey website, we can see chat. These are your basic chat rooms, but the big update is that these are now synced with Discord. So in a few specific chat rooms, people talking on Discord will be live synced to the website, which means you can talk to your friends even if you're on different platforms. Based on the announcements, at least for now, there's two channels that I don't know about. It says no access, but PromptCraft, General one oh and super users if you have over 1000 images created you're part of the super users club so we can click down here on super users and now i bet a lot of the people here are actually just creating over on discord let's try a cute neon smiley face saying hey everyone let's see what this creates <laughs> all right those aren't bad but these chat rooms can get a little hectic as you can see my images basically take up the entire screen and that's going to happen when everybody else is creating images as well so what you can do is at the top instead of all images you can simply click on your images and you'll only see what you've created that's just a way to calm the room a little bit and you can also click on the settings button over here and you can change how other people's pictures show up right now it's set for me at once in progress but i might suggest you change it to once completed so that you don't see the progression bar of the pictures being created they just show up once they're ready and the last feature i need to tell you about is that everybody who has created at least 10 images on mid journey can create on the website they're getting really close to opening it up to everyone and i think you'll enjoy it. Make sure you've created at least 10 images on Discord and then you can go directly to the website. And if that's not working for some reason, I have to let you know about this. Go into Discord into a public creation room, something like a newbie room or a general room, anything public. In the prompt box, I want you to hit forward slash info, hit enter. That will bring up your stats, everything you've created in mid journey, and this will sync them to the bot. So if you've made over 10 images, but you can't create on the website, do this little trick to let Midjourney know that you should be involved. I'm pretty sure that's everything that got updated. Let me know what you think of the new editor. If you want to learn how to create your own font in Midjourney, you can check out this video right here. I hope you're doing well. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Peace.